What's going on guys? Pete with Auto Repair Tips. In this video, I'm working on a Lexus ES350. Let me show you the customer's complaint. The check engine light came on and it had some misfires in it. And I went ahead and pulled the codes and it's got, of course, the P300, which is your random misfire. And it says number one cylinder is misfiring and number four cylinder is misfiring. Also has a P0351, which is your ignition primary coil secondary circuit. It also has a P0606 ECM process slash processor. So let me show you what I did to diagnose this car. The first code I looked at was the P0606. And when I went to that code, it said that the O2 sensors weren't working correctly. So it's got four. This car has four O2 sensors, two up and two down streams. So to check the O2 sensors, I let the car get to operating temperature. Then I push the gas up and down to cause a rich lean condition and make sure that the O2s are switching off and on. Bank one and bank two should be pretty consistent up and down. There should be no readings that are really off. Let me show you what I did to check these O2 sensors. I started the car, I let it get nice and warm and get into closed loop. Once that happens, I went ahead and pulled up the O2s. And if you look right here, bank one sensor one is one to 0.9. Look over here, bank two sensor one is 0.9. So they're reading about the same. Bank one on the volts is 3.2 volts, sensor two, 3.2 volts are the same. Go down to the bank one sensor two. That's 0.76 over here. 0.70. Go over here. O2 bank one sensor two on the ohms is 175. And look over here. It is really sporadic. It's going to 17,200 back and forth. So that is not within specs. If I rev the engine up and put it in a lean condition more or less, it kind of levels out a little bit. Everything looks pretty good. And there it is, seeing jumping again. All right, so looking at those readings, bank two, sensor two is gonna be the one we're gonna replace. Also, it had a misfire code. So let's go back in and let's check the misfires real quick. It's probably gonna be a coil pack. That's normally what this is. So looking at the misfire data right now, there is no misfires. Now I have seen it in the past where an O2 sensor will cause a misfire and cause running conditions. I've even seen an O2 sensor cause a car not to shift correctly in the transmission. O2 sensors play a big role in the operating system of your car. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is just replace the O2 sensor, clear all the codes, take it for a long test drive and see what happens. All right guys, I'm going to get some parts ordered. We'll get them on the car. I'm going to show you where that O2 sensor is located and we'll go for our test drive. Catch you in a bit. All right, guys, the new O2 sensor came. I measured out the length and made sure it was correct. They do make a special socket for it, and it works kind of like this. The harness will sit in here like this. This is what it looks like. This one is pretty easy to get to, so there was no need to put a socket there. I fed the wrench through the harness, put it on there, took a hammer, gave it a love tap, and broke it loose that way. All right, before you put this O2 sensor on, make sure you take a little bit of the coating that's in here. It'll help the threads not to seize up in there. What's got me wondering now is, I see some already on the threads. So I'm almost wondering, did somebody already use this sensor and send it back as a defect, which has happened plenty of times with me. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit more on it, stick it in, and we'll check the readings. All right, we got it good and tight. Before I put the connectors up, I'm gonna use a little bit of this dielectric grease just to help keep it from corroding. This one's dry, so I'm gonna put some in both of them. All right, guys, we're looking good. This is the sensor that was glitching. This is the one that was, readings were really sporadic, all the way from like 100 to 19,000. And we're doing good, it is holding true. I've been watching it now for about, you know, a good 10 minutes, and we're looking good. All right, guys, so right now, I'm gonna disregard the misfire in the engine. I'm gonna go ahead and button it up, change the oil, because he wants an oil change. Once I do that, I'm gonna take it for a test drive to make sure we don't have any engine cools misfiring, but I'm pretty sure the O2 sensor is gonna fix this problem. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Catch you later.